Now, jumping into the conversation of today. Guess what? Today, today, Nigeria has announced. It announced and gave a notice at some point around 27th of October, thereabout. Today, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has announced that it is going to demonetize its existing currency. Now, let's build into that conversation because this is something that is happening right now. Number one, remember, in 2023, Nigeria is going into a, main, into a general election. Most of this cash that is normally being stashed, this is money that the politicians use heavily to fund their campaigns. That in hindsight, let's dive into this critical conversation. So why is Nigeria replacing Naira notes? The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, applauded the move by the CBN. CBN is Central Bank of Nigeria to redesign and reissue higher denominations of currencies. The Central Bank of Nigeria, let me just go through this extract. The Central Bank of Nigeria is set to launch new designs to replace high-value Naira notes from December 15, 2022. So that is their cutoff. December 15, 2022. That's barely like three weeks. So if you had this touch of billions of billions of Naira notes in your house, then you're in panic. You're in trouble. Because you have only three weeks to make sure that you've converted that money into the new currency notes. The bank said it is doing this to have control of the currency in circulation, number one, by managing inflation as well as tackling counterfeiting. Because we all know that Nigeria is one of the critical sensitive markets when it comes to counterfeit money. The plan is to design the 100 Naira, 200 Naira, 500 Naira, and 1,000 Naira notes and start disbursing by December. Then by January 31st, 2023, the old notes are expected to be out of circulation. Have you gotten that? So, when you look at it carefully, is there a hidden motive? for the government to build this conversation of demonetization? Is it to act as a counter towards the opponents in the upcoming election? Or is it genuinely, genuinely created to make sure that it can enable the economy of Nigeria to, to stabilize its Naira back? Because it has had a very deep, big dip in the recent past, especially this year. While addressing the govern the journalists on Wednesday, the governor Godwin Emefiele said currency management has faced several daunting challenges that have continued to escalate in scale and sophistication, with attendant and attendant attended and unintended consequences of for the integrity of both the Central Bank of Nigeria and the country. He further goes and says these challenges primarily include significant hoarding of banknotes by members of the public, with statistics showing that over 85% of the currency in circulation are outside the vaults of commercial banks. <laughs> Guys, this is extremely, extremely serious. Can you imagine running an economy where 85% of the money in circulation does not come to the central banking system? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine the influx of Nairas in circulation within the public that is actually not accounted within the central commercial bank's vaults? That's crazy. That's crazy. It's very, very crazy. That basically tells me that there's so much money being transferred. No wonder you see guys flaunting and flaunting expensive rides, expensive lifestyles. But at the end of the day, when you ask yourself, what do these people do for a living? You absolutely have no clue. No wonder you see when you get to political 
polit when the political temperatures in Africa begin to rise, especially as we approach the politic the voting season, there's a lot of money being flaunted around. Politicians all over Africa own the most expensive choppers. The most expensive helicopters that they use for flying from one point to the other, enhancing their campaign agenda, giving and splashing cash left, right and center. And we all know their monthly salaries when they're in parliament or when they're in the Senate or when if it's a governor running the state. So it basically tells you that these because of greed because of corruption because of because of such that is why most of the african countries are really struggling moving progress forward let's continue the conversation to be more specific at, at the end of september 2022 available data at the central bank of nigeria indicate that 2.73 trillion naira out of the 3.23 trillion naira currency in circulation was outside the vaults of commercial banks across the country and supposedly held by the public. That's crazy, guys. We have already tackled that. Evidently, currency in circulation has more than doubled since 2015, rising from 1.46 trillion nairas in December 2015 to 3.23 trillion nairas in September 2022. That tells you a significant portion of the Nairas in circulation within that country and within that market is actually money that has not even been printed by the Central Bank of Nigeria. That tells you the level of counterfeiting based on the sophistication of technology and the enhancement of counterfeiting printing mach machines. It has actually enabled a lot of Naira to circulate within the market. <laughs> it's actually more than what is reportedly being printed within the central banking system of Nigeria. Those are my thoughts. Don't, <laughs> don't get me into trouble. Those are my thoughts. I'm trying to build a conversation and asking myself, in the process, asking ourselves, what could be the problem? This is worrisome trend that cannot be allowed to continue. And then the governor said that the bank believes this increase has a positive impact on inflation, which has hit a 17-year high in September. Inflation, guys, to just put it in a very simple term, comes about when there is excess circulation of money in the economy. So demonetization is one of the mechanisms that the government uses to curb inflation rates. Because 17, if it's on its 17 year I, then that means that it is guys or are an overdrive in making and minting illegal money. No wonder 85%. I mean, can you imagine 85% of an economist currency that is in circulation does not go to any central commercial banking vaults. That's nasty. That's crazy. That's actually, if not controlled on early stages, that can lead to hyperinflation. Remember in Zimbabwe, when they overprinted money, <laughs> I had this conversation. It was a joke that one, somebody can, for you to buy a loaf of bread, you need to carry money in a wheelbarrow, literally taking to the vendor <laughs> for them to give you, you exchange that wheelbarrow money in exchange for a loaf of bread. That is hyperinflation. But I don't think we are getting there. But as a smart economy, the governor is actually calculating to curb the flow of that because by putting a cutoff and shortening the time that guys can be able to exchange the old currency for the new currency it gives it gives very minimum room and window for guys to use unscrupulous means to convert these old currency notes into the new currency that way they are able to curb the flow and the circulation of money within the economy
He also said that the country is faced by worsening shortage of clean and fit banknotes with attendant negative perception of the Central Bank of Nigeria and increased risk of financial stability. You see, for if you have counterfeit money, no matter how quote-unquote genuine it can look, the durability of that note is very short term. Imagine 85% of the currency in circulation in the market not going through the central bank vault system. And then this money, if you have a, if you have a, a significant percentage of it as counterfeit, what that in, eventually does is you have more and more of the notes getting old, getting getting shattered, you know, something like that. And it creates a bad Im image for the economy. So that is what he's saying. Thank <laughs> you.